All right, let's work an optimization problem. So on this one, we're going to be building the fence. A rectangular storage area is to be constructed along a side of a building. A security fence is required along the remaining three sides of the area. What is the maximum area that can be enclosed with 879 feet of fencing? So what I always like to do when I get started on these is draw a picture. It doesn't have to be great, but it wants, we want it to represent whatever situation we're dealing with here. So as you can see, I have a building already drawn. Next, I'm gonna draw a rectangular fence that has one of its sides along the building and it's gonna come out here and make a rectangle. It doesn't have to be pretty. Use your imagination, it's a perfect rectangle as is. In fact, I'll even make it better for you. All right, next up, what we wanna do is we're gonna construct both an objective function we're gonna to try to maximize our area. So that's gonna go for our objective function. So our area is what we wanna be maximizing. And we wanna construct a constraint equation. So you're looking for some number along the way um, in the word problem, that's gonna go into the constraint equation. So the constraint equation has to do with that 879 feet of fencing. Let's go ahead and label our sides of our, our rectangle. We're gonna need fencing along the bottom and along the top, and those are gonna be the same because this is a rectangle. And then we need uh, length of fencing going vertically just on one side though. So I'm using X's and Y's. You can choose whichever letters you like. Lengths and widths, L's and W's is fine too. All right, so our constraint equation has to do with this 879 feet of fencing. So that's like the perimeter of this fence. So if we add up all the side lengths, we get two X's plus a Y, it's gonna make up all the fencing that we need. All right, so we're done with our constraint equation for right now. Next, let's work on our objective function. So this is a function that we're trying to maximize in our case. So to maximize this area that we used A for area, um, we can represent that using X times Y because finding the area of a rectangle is length times width or base times height. And we've represented those with X and Y. Next up, we'd like to um, take the derivative of our objective function. So we can't really do it yet because we have two variables hanging out over there, X and Y multiplied together. So we'd like to get this in terms of just one variable. Let's use the constraint equation to do that. So we're gonna solve our constraint equation down for one of the two letters in there. I think it's gonna be easiest if we subtract two X from both sides and get Y on one side by itself. So 879 minus two X We'll put y on one side all by itself for the constraint equation. Now we're gonna substitute in to our objective fun function. Um, we're gonna replace the y over here with 879 minus two x. Now to maximize this area, what we'd probably wanna do is take the derivative, but instead of doing the product rule, to take the derivative, I'm gonna first go ahead and distribute that x. So 879, times x minus two x squared. Right, now I can take the derivative and find a prime is gonna be 879 minus four x, just applying the power rule to take that derivative. Now we're gonna either find a maximum or minimum whenever we get critical values or critical numbers. We find those by either figuring out when the derivative is equal to zero or undefined. So in this case, let's go ahead and set it equal to zero. So 879 minus 4x equals zero, and then solve this down for x. So I'm first going to subtract the 879. That leaves us with negative 4x over on the right-hand side. And to get x all by itself, we can divide both sides by negative 4. And that'll give us x equals, I'm going 219.75. And that'll be in feet because it was 879 feet of fencing. All right, so that's a value for X. Next, we wanna find a value for Y, the long side it looks like according to my uh, diagram anyway. So what we wanna do is go back to the constraint equation and plug the number we found in for X over here. So 879 minus two times 219.75. And that works out to be 439.5 
theta fencing for our y value. So now we know our dimensions, but we wanted to maximize the area um, using this much fencing. So if we were additionally asked for what is the maximum area that can be enclosed, what you do is go back to um, A equals X times Y and just plug in 219.75 feet multiplied by 439.5 feet is gonna give us 96,580.125 square feet can be enclosed. All right, so whenever you're getting going on these, draw yourself a picture, create a constraint equation using a number that's given to you within the original word problem, figure out what you're trying to maximize or minimize. That's gonna be your objective function. Rewrite that in terms of only one variable, only one letter by uh, solving down the constraint equation for one letter and plugging that in, substituting it into your objective function, take the derivative, set it equal to zero, solve down. Now, the additional thing that we could do is we could use either the first derivative test or second derivative test to ensure that this actually is going to be a maximum. Um, wouldn't be too difficult. The second derivative over here is gonna be negative four, which tells us that this is concave down. So on the graph kind of looks like this, and that's going to be a maximum area. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck to you on these. These are actually really fun problems after you get kind of the hang of how they work out. So good luck with them. Till next time.